Black people be begging for good jobs didn't get the job done. Good jobs don't determine your existence in America. And in fact, during slavery in America, 99% of black people worked for white people. You had black slave owners, believe it or not. Look it up. But 99% of black people worked for white people. Here we are 100 and something, 50, 150 years later or so, and 98% of black people work for white people. So where's all these, where's all these high paying, high value men and these high value women making all this money? Where's all this money? Stop letting, and, and people will be looking at these celebrities making all this money, these black celebrities, and guys throwing away money and, and using the money up to the end, shit like that. That's their money. That's not your money. <laughs> That's Floyd, May Floyd Mayweather money. Mary J. Blige money, 50 cents. That's their money. That's not your money. And what I'm saying is just because you think they're successful, you're living vicariously through them. That's their money. That's not your money. We think just because we see black people making so much money that all black people are successful, like the whole black race. Nah, that's just a few. That's their money. That's not your money. And if and if, if one of them was to go broke for t one of them was to go to broke today, it would have, it would not have any effect on your life. Everybody's a black billionaire now. Where's all these black billionaires at? Who all these black billionaires that own these skyscrapers in Manhattan? Who own, who, how many black people you know own a skyscraper? I need to stop watching TV and believing that bullshit about black people doing so well and we making strides. That's just hype. That's so black people can fall back and beat and take shit easy. Black people are not doing well in America. That's why you keep seeing these, uh, these protesters and shit and talking about Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter to who? Who does Black Lives Matter to? What's talking about Black Lives Matter. If, if, if black America, like I said, America don't necessarily need black people. They don't need it. They only need a black people for a labor force, and they don't need that labor force like they used to. And I was joking. I was saying all these wars that's taking place. What's gonna happen is they're gonna produce a lot of ref. They're gonna uh, is gonna they're gonna be a lot of refugees, European white refugees that need a place to stay, and they're gonna come to America. And what they're gonna do is they're gonna gentrify all them black ghettos and clean them shits up. All these black ghettos in America, they're gonna be cleaned up, and they're gonna be they're gonna be that's gonna be a resting place or a, home, a new home for all these Europeans that's getting kicked out of their houses, you know, from, from getting bombed and shit like that. Watch, uh, Sarajevo, Kosovo. Uh, who is that? I don't know who's killing who. I don't know who it is. Forgive me for my ignorance. I don't know what's going on.